let me blow your minds with one of my favorite quotes of all time. Shit happens. I mean, hopefully you get to the toilet before it does, but it really it does. Now we all know that our brown buddies have long become a symbol for worthlessness. But when seven billion people have nutrient deficiency and two billion obesity dilemmas have run rampant in our world today, it's clear that we must begin to evaluate our diets more clearly. And when the National Center for Biotech Information reports that mineral and nutrient content is traced in the chemical makeup of feces, it's time to look a little closer at our toilet dwellers. So here's the question of the day. How can we manipulate our abundant waste to project our mineral and nutrient nutrients and zoom in on our dietary improvement? So I introduce to you these July's. This is a capsule which can be placed into an occupied toilet. The capsule will have several inside components which will contain its all of its necessary materials, sodium, hydrogen, carbonate, compacted sodium, deionized water, and programmed and the, pro the programmed detection sensor. Once placed in the toilet, the, de the detector will place a certain will dispense a certain color, which will correspond to a certain vitamin. The shade of the color will pertain to how much of the vitamin is present in the feces. For example, if the CO2 detector detects a large amount of vitamin A, then the detector will emit a dark hue of red. Less vitamin A than normal corresponds to a light red hue. Vitamin B is a shade of orange, vitamin C a shade of yellow, vitamin D, green, E, blue. On the capsule bottle, a color and the shade spectrum will allow users to see the estimate of their vitamin intake. How does the technology work? The University of Chicago has developed a method in molecular computation of tricking DNA strands into behaving like switches. Combining these switches into logic gates, which are the foundation of computation through electronics, will allow us to insert DNA-powered computers into our pills and program the pills to output information about the feces. This is how our chemical sensor will operate. That each of the different vitamins has a different chemical property. We found various techniques to exploit these defining properties to the chemical sensor. In vitamin A is retinoic acid, which has a defining carboxylic group, which can be recognized through the sodium hydrogen carbonide test, which reacts forming CO2 as a byproduct. If the sensor detects a significant amount of CO2, a level of vitamin A is present. In vitamin B, one of the most prominent substances is known as thiamine. The interesting aspect of thiamine is that it contains both sulfur and chlorine. Interestingly, sodium re reacts readily with both. Sodium chloride is a crystalline white, while sodium sulfide is a yellow flaky substance. The double reaction is the marker for vitamin B. In vitamin C, ascorbic acid contains an alkene functional group, which has a double bond between the central carbons, making it readily reactive. The most common reaction is known as catalytic hydrogenation. This reaction is exothermic and releases around negative 40 kilojoules per mole. This heat addition is what the detector observes to mark vitamin C. The defining substance is called cholechlorophyll, which undergoes a major metabolic biochemical reaction. This reaction produces a hormone known as caltriol. This substance is what the detector will be programmed to pick up. In vitamin E, the defining substance is alpha tolcarephorol. Unlike the contents of the other vitamins, alpha tolcarephorol is insoluble. Resultantly, when mixed, when deionized water, it will form a precipitate. The detector will pick up this, this precipitate and identify vitamin E. Different species analyzers, as of now, consists primarily of mobile and web applications where you enter a description about your stool and receive a generalized breakdown. How much water you're drinking, how much fiber you're eating. Our idea is a capsule you drop into the stool that tells you the vitamin count through colors, tailored to your deficiencies. The main market is for people who are actively concerned about their diet and health, like hospital patients or bodybuilders. The soon-to-be market is for people who want to improve their health, like people who are consciously improving their diet and gym goers. Refusers of our product are people who use free websites and want generalized information about their stool. Our unexplored market is the general population that hasn't realized that 92% of them have nutrient deficiencies that can be solved, improving their quality of life. Now let's talk money. The cost for manufacturing one unit which consists of a container and a kit, capsules. It's approximately $10.60. The container, which will be made from bioplastics, has been estimated to cost 70 cents. Each capsule will cost 33 cents to develop and will comprise of the shell and the capsule detector. The capsule shell will cost 3 cents due to its biodegradable virgin wood fiber. The programmable capsule detector will cost 30 cents to develop a piece. With 30 capsules per unit, the estimated manufacturing cost reaches $10.60 and will be marked up 250% to $26.50 for the unit price. The EERC, 
Eliminate. The industry has overly focused on the use of apps and websites. However, our company will eliminate this aspect and will shed color to your stool at your house. Raise. Feature will increase the accuracy of what you are eating and it will accurately tell the users what vitamins the consumer lacks. Reduce. Feature plans to reduce the misconceptions and false information spread. We will provide evidence showing the lack of vitamins to the user. Create. Feature will create a personalized experience that the industry currently does not offer. Welcome to the world of Feature where your waste is, well, a little less worthless.